All right, good morning, everybody. Mark Pena here in the KXAN First Morning Weather Center, talking with meteorologist Eric Platt at the National Weather Service uh, Austin San Antonio station, um, talking about the unusually cool and wet summer we've been experiencing thus far. So, um, Eric, why don't you tell me a little bit about uh, how common this type of weather pattern is for us here in Central Texas? Well, we certainly haven't seen this pattern set up in the last several years, uh, but this, uh, this summer is a little different. Uh, and what we've seen, uh, what we typically have is a pretty large area of a persistent high pressure that remains over the area. Um, so far, that really hasn't set up, uh, at least not in a long period of time. It's, uh, we've seen the high pressure set up over the Pacific Northwest, Intermountain Region, Rockies, uh, bringing a lot of heat uh, and wildfires and drought to that area. But for our neck of the woods, we've actually stayed a little bit on the uh, away from that high pressure. And so that's allowed some more shower and thunderstorm activity to uh, enter into our region and also our temperatures uh, to remain a little below normal. The high pressure that is currently over the Pacific Northwest, is that the high pressure that's typically over us, giving us our long and hot dry summers? Yeah, typically we see that high pressure set up uh, across the desert southwest, northern Mexico, uh, and then extending out into the Gulf of Mexico. Any indication that it's going to continue to last into August, maybe even the fall? Um, it looks like we might start returning back to a little bit more normal precipitation wise, which is drier. August is one of our drier months. Uh, but the temperature outlook uh, tends to favor perhaps a little bit below normal on our temperatures. We'll just have to wait and see if that pattern sets up. But we, we still have some summer left to contend with in the Austin area.